scatter shooting, wondering what ever happened to that barefoot girl sitting on the hood of a Dodge. Is it just me, or do others agree that Bruce seems to be more comfortable being interviewed over the past few years? Since Letter to You, it seems that he has given us a lot of great interviews. The conversation with President Obama was good on both sides, but it was more of a conversation. But even talking to Apple Music Zane Lowe, the interview with Questlove, and the time he spent with Howard Stern, it seems he's more comfortable about talking to himself than he used to be. You know, I'm wondering if the demand for tickets in stadiums will drive down ticket prices overall, or, or will there continue to be more demand than supply? I would love if more fans who want to see the band perform will get a chance to see him. Let's hope that almost everyone during the second round of tours does have that chance to see him. I'm going to talk about this in a separate episode, probably in December, but I wonder if I'm I wonder if other fans are doing the same thing as I am, creating a list of songs that he or she or they wish that Bruce would cover on volumes two and three of if he's doing a series of cover albums. You know, it's pretty cool that Patty won an Emmy as an executive producer for that TV show. Silver Olympic medal, an Emmy, a ton of Grammys, an Oscar. You know, if they wanted, the Springsteen household could have a hell of a trophy room there in Jersey. Oh, I wanted to, I shared this on Twitter, but I wanted to make sure everyone saw it. Um, I was reading James Burroughs' new, um, or not new, but his book, kind of a story of his life. And he had this um, story to tell about uh, Sam, Sam, Bruce's son. Bruce's youngest son, Sam, had aspirations of being a writer. So I brought him to the Mike and Molly set, I being uh, James Burrow. I introduced him as Sam, who's thinking about being in show business. He, Sam, Billy Gardell, and I were having lunch at Abe's after a run-through. Billy, who's one of the biggest Springsteen fans in the world, started talking to Sam. Where are you from? Sam replied, New Jersey. Where in New Jersey? Coltsnet. Billy Gardell asked, What does your dad do? Sam answers, He's a musician. Billy says, Really? What's his name? Sam says, Bruce Springsteen. As I was watching this build to a crescendo, I thought Billy was going to explode. That's a excerpt from James Burrell's book, directed by James Burrell, Five Decades of Stories, from the legendary director of Texi, Cheers, Frasier, Friends, Will and & Grace, and more. Um, it's a great book, uh, available on Kindle or whatever e-reader you like, and of course, in a hard copy. Um, there isn't a lot about Bruce in it, but there is a lot of great stories about some great TV shows. I also wanted to bring up that um, I've often talked about one of my favorite books is um, Beyond the Palace by Sarah Goodwin Confino. It is a wonderful book about uh, a young man and a young woman finding each other during a Springsteen tour and the love story plays out among the different dates of the tour. It's a very heavy Bruce Springsteen influenced book, a great love story and it was Sarah's first novel and I really enjoyed it. She has a new novel. She's up to no good a novel um, it is, um, the blurb is, for two women generations apart, going home will change their lives in this funny, poignant, and life-affirming novel about family secrets and broken hearts. Um, Jenna is one of the characters. Her grandmother, Evelyn, is the other. It is set in a Massachusetts town, and it is absolutely beautiful. I loved this novel. 
I'm trying to get Sarah on the podcast, but she is a teacher, she is a writer, she is a mom, and so she is very, very busy. But it is truly worth your time. Once again, she's up to no good, a novel by Sarah Goodman Confino. So please check that out. All right, this is a quick, just scatter shooting. Uh, episode for random thoughts just wanted to get that out there Um, November is ending I did not make my 30 episodes in 30 days I think I ended up with 27 28 episodes which isn't bad Um, December I will be trying to get back on just a one or two episode schedule um, a week and then in I'm not going to record a lot of episodes in December uh, but I have uh, some banked And then starting in January and February, I will be looking for people to talk to. So if you want to visit with me, please send me an email, setlustingbruce at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter at jessejacksondfw. Um, Please go check out my new John Hyatt podcast. Sylvan Groth and I are... um, going through every John Hyatt song from A to Z, um, inspired by Bruce Springsteen's Things the Alphabet by JB and Rob. Um, Want to make sure they get a shout out. If you love John Hyatt, I think you'll like this podcast. If you have never heard of John Hyatt, this is a great way to explore his music one song at a time. We are looking for guests to join us, so if you are interested in joining us to talk about a specific John Hyatt song, let us know. All right, blatant plugs. Um, I am at about a hundred or so starred reviews on iTunes. I would love to get that higher. Uh, the more people who give me reviews, the more people who will find the podcast. I would love a couple of new write-ups. Um, I had two uh, recent reviews that um, made me very smile. They were from um, Judy Rodman said, Brilliant host. This show is about a lot more than Bruce, though it centers around the man and his music. I thoroughly enjoyed my interview with the host, who made it a chat of joyful exploration. With his easy style and creative approach, he brings out stories no one had asked about before. Thank you, Judy. That's a beautiful review. And Jake Berry said, Infectious enthusiasm. Jesse's enthusiasm is infectious and uplifting. His commitment comes through in every episode, not just to Bruce's music, but the joy we all find in his music. Thanks for sharing the love, Jesse. Keep up the great work. Jake Barry in New Hampshire. Those are both just so lovely, and um, I'm at 71 customer reviews, so boy, it would be great to get over 80. So if you haven't gone to iTunes and left a review yet, please do. Uh, Don't forget... Um, like and uh, like us on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, if you're interested, I have a Patreon where you could throw a couple bucks a month to help support the podcast. Um, that's it. November is coming to an end. I hope everyone who celebrates had a great Thanksgiving. December will be a busy, hectic time with a lot of family, a lot of holidays, and hopefully. Um, a time for all of us to spend time with people we love. So till next time, uh, thank you guys for supporting the podcast, and we will talk to you soon. Goodbye. Doing a podcast at times can be a one-way conversation, and I hate that. So please let me know what you like and don't like about the work I'm doing. You can reach the podcast via email at setlessingbruce at gmail.com. The show is on Twitter, at SetLustingBruce, and my personal Twitter is at DFW. You can support the podcast by subscribing via your favorite podcast player and leaving us a review. The more reviews we have, the easier it is for people to find us. And please tell a friend about the podcast, especially if they love Bruce or music, because it will make a difference. You just heard the fun talking, hard rocking, music loving, album ranking, 
fan thinking, joy spreading, lyric reading, story sharing podcast that is the one, the only, Set Listening Bruce. The theme for Set Listening Bruce was written by David Rosen, used by permission.